When we look at the cardiac cycle, we see that everything leaves the isoelectric line and everything returns back to the isoelectric line. The isoelectric line is the running baseline that we find on every EKG. We can see that the P wave leaves the isoelectric line and returns back to it. The QRS complex leaves the isoelectric line and returns. And the T wave leaves the isoelectric line and returns as well. The P wave represents atrial depolarization. The QRS complex represents ventricular depolarization. And the T wave represents ventricular repolarization. The ST segment begins at the end of the QRS complex and ends at the beginning of the T wave. Be careful not to include the T wave in the ST segment or else it will cause you to judge ST elevation wrong every time. The end of the QRS complex is sometimes called the J-point. On the EKG paper grid, there are boxes. Each small box is one millimeter square. ST elevation of one millimeter or more in two or more contiguous leads is considered to be consistent with an acute MI. Finally, as we look across the EKG paper, we see that five small boxes make up a large box. Five large boxes equal one second of time. So when we look at a standard 12-lead EKG, we find that it is actually a 10-second rhythm strip.